Yo, it's your boy, my makes money. And today I'm going to talk about crypto plays and is the economy going to be able to stay stable? And will the, I'm going to try to answer the question, will the economy fail in crypto plays? And it's your boy, my makes money. Just realize none of this is financial advice. I'm at 249 subscribers. Hopefully I can get by to 300 by the end of this week. And I also talk about how to make money in Axie Infinity. I just talk about my experience. And I'll see how much money I can make by the end of this week. And I'm going to get into Reddit where this article says, I see potential. The problem is eventually new buyers will cease to exist. So in the long run, it is a big circle jerk. Economy Earnings economy needs fixed because continuously deposing and sinking funds to maintain an ecosystem is called play to pay. play to pay. From the sounds of it, you are one of the lucky few who found an affordable forage prices and the tax is supposed to help the economy. I have found that there are two very distinct groups in the ecosystem, the gamer and the investor. So what's happening right now is that people are finding new ways to make money in crypto plays. And basically they're able to buy um, items like swords and characters, being able to buy them for cheap and then just sell them for a higher price. and that's good and all because it could help the ecosystem because that's going to inspire more people to create characters um and then actually start selling them and people are going to start buying them but it's just like how long can that last for your example above your interest lies in profiting off the game within the skill economy not the real world economy but i do believe the influx that have come forward with these past two weeks past weeks are the investor type are willing to work within the economy in a real world profit extraction play to earn and there is a genre is not play to earn that is the genre is it not and so they're basic um people are just like becoming investors and meaning that they're willing to invest in the game and make as much pro profits as they can rather than play the game and just make money like how it's intended to be but um right now from the stuff that i've heard a lot of people are actually losing money from uh investing in this or just playing this game in general because um the crypto blaze dev team dropped the prices so people are making less just because they want to stabilize the economies because they were lo probably losing a lot of money just uh since there were so many people that wanted to play this game i believe this cryptocurrency went from like a dollar to 190 dollars and that's what they said on their um on the discord so this game has had a massive growth and they probably weren't able to maintain it or else the game would have just uh, failed to exist. So I think that um, it might this might be able to help the economy in the near term where people just start trying to buy and sell higher. But um, that m might just sound like a Ponzi scheme when you just start to think about it like that. Because if it's not even profitable to play the game, I think a lot of people are going to start leaving and then the ones that stay are the people that j are just trying to make as much money as they can and then it, the economy will just eat itself if people start to only try to make as much profits as they can by buying and selling for a higher price and i'm gonna read further into this article i for one want my skill earnings in due time but the hit in mass forages and my investor eyes the mechanic of the game is gamble if you want to gamble i could play the online casino and poker my winnings would be higher and probably will have an equal amount of fun the randomness of the forge item system is so much for smart investors to throw away their hard-earned skill which he literally paid for it to win at the wall and make it suck stuck stick the whole endeavor of joining the crypto blaze community building a team is an investment in itself it is crazy to see people literally willing to play maintenance calls daily to see earning possible if a blank told you to deposit oh if you want to gain any interest in your savings and investment here is what you have to pay for daily how would do you think that conversation will go nft offerings the push to encourage forging all good for long run for near term it's not what the community needs many people have come aboard and earned with their investment not to pay what to maintain it um so you're probably gonna have to pay gas fees just to even make money and which kind of sucks because it's definitely going to eat out of your profits and i feel like that's why a lot of people are leaving this game good luck to us all again great suggestions but 
for the majority that are in with you i believe it is not how they pictured to play this game so yeah people wanted to play this game just to make money um just uh play to earn is just where you're just able to like maybe battle some fights and get paid just for winning but treating it as like a stock or um really just drop shipping which means that you're buying something online for cheap and then just selling it for a higher price how long can this in-game economy last if the profits don't increase and if people don't start making money from playing the game is it really even play to earn or is it pay to win or a uh, pay to actually make money in this game so uh, we'll see what happens with this economy hopefully the dev teams are working hard at just making a better game and making the game more profitable for everybody so we'll see what happens in the future it's your boy my makes money hope you enjoy this video peace